Hello there ladies and gents, and welcome back to Dino Crisis. Now there's a dino in here, unfortunately, which we may be able to avoid. May. Oh, another plug. Hey dinosaur. Yes, I will. Uh, four, three, nine, five. Five, nine, four, three. Two, two, three, six. Three, six, nine, five. Uh, I can never remember that off the top of my head. I know where to get the code from, though. Ha! You missed me. You're not going to get me, Mr. Dino. Okay, now we head back to the DDK door. And hopefully I won't make a fool of myself this time. Oh. Well, I just did that. Uh, running low on med kits. Should have plenty in uh, boxes though. Okay, now this is the last DDK door. Ah, <sighs> now if I remember, it is D Oak Doc Tor Kirk. Uh, where's the K? There we go. The name that's been thrown at us since the start of the game. There we go. There we go. <coughs> That's why we needed those. Well, I'm glad I did those ahead of time. Yep, definitely going to take an anade. Ah, <sighs> we're nearly at the last stretch of the game. Oop. Big massive generator. Rick, I've located the main generator of the third energy. Great. Keep getting activated. Ah, this should be fun. Okay. Yay, we have a bridge. Okay, we've been followed around by a poltergeist rig. Okay, so we can't do that just yet then. Ah, we need to go inside and mess with the control panel if I remember correctly. As it would appear, I have a textual message. Five new messages, okay. There we go. Right, ooh, more stuff. Oh, more plugs. That's always handy. Now, I think there's a woman in here which we can uh, speak to. Ooh, map. There we go. Oh, hey there. She's unconscious. She's dying. Oh, yay, one of these. So, that was that. 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 And then. That? No, it was that. No, no. Which 
Which one am I getting wrong? Okay, so we've got that the wrong way round. <laughs> That's clever. <coughs> okay, let's flip you that way. Have you... actually, no. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, no. That one. In that way. And that one that way. Okay, that's still messed up. Well, let's do that one, that one, then that one. Okay, so it's missing the one there now. So it needs. What does it need on the corner there? Okay, so it needs a straight bit. So let's flip you. Okay, that's even worse. Um, let's try you that way. And then you. No, that's not going to do it. And then we need a stray bit in the middle. So, if we do that one, then that one, then that one, there we go. Jolly good. <laughs> Getting through the puzzles slowly. And we have more puzzles, I think. Come on, that should be working now. There we go. Keys need to add a third energy. I don't think we have it, though. Nope, we definitely don't. Oh! And she's been shot. Oh god, she shot herself to death. That is not blood. That's not blood. One, two, eight, one. That's not blood. That is shit. She's just shat everywhere. Her bowels exploded. That's not blood. That's poo. Hey, dinosaur. Oh, no. I thought it was a dinosaur. Never mind. Um, I want to pick up that item. No, I'm not doing after that yet. I want that item. It might be a med kit. <coughs> Fucking Anaid. <sighs> we literally have no healing items on us, which isn't good. Hmm. Oh dear. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy core. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> That's a time travel device. To have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it was wasted on one who was about to die. Ooh. 
Thank you, Gail. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. Ooh. But I was incorrect. The space Were you? It was exchanged. Mm -hmm. Exchanged. Terms, you can understand. Oh, I don't condescend to me, you prick. Has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just are they irrelevant, are they, Dr. Kirk? Hmm? Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil, hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiments. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy level to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out. Why are you talking to the wall, buddy? But hmm. there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another <coughs> point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. So but you could go live with dinosaurs. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Oh, I don't want to go back there. There's too many big dinos. Good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Yes, that's it. Walk off and sulk, you big dick face. There we go. Set to whip up a program that will send a beam of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices which overload the third energy. <sighs> Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold on. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs. It is. That T Rex. Let's get this situation under control before Chud arrives. Here, take this. This contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. So we can either go and collect them or make them. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. Yes, I bloody do. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? I'm actually going to side with Rick on this one. It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I've completed this game many a time. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. Oh god. Oh god. Right. Ah, up there. Okay. Core part A, part B. Right. Now, I don't know whether or not I need to actually do this, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to be safe. Hello there, Doctor. Yes, I need to collect your fingerprint sample. So if you would just kindly stand there. 
Um. Uh, Regina, what are you doing? Um. Okay. There we go. There we go. Med pack M, which is handy. Let's actually mix that with that. Med pack plus. There we go. Got some more stuff now. That's nice. God, he's an egotistical bastard. Um, right. There we go. So yeah, this is kind of the last leg of the game now. This would be uh, an equivalent to Resident. Oh, hello, Resident Evil One terms. This would be uh, setting off the generator to blow up. Oh, you're very fast, and you lost your meal. Sorry about that, Dino friend. Okay, now we can go in here because there's stuff we need to do in here and parts. Although I think I am missing handgun parts. I am. Um, there we go. Fires multiple now. Although, I, yeah, I am missing handgun parts. I don't know where I get them from. Hmm. Um, planning disc. Um. Oh. Oh, I remember this. Okay. We need to listen to code. And another plug. My only concern regarding the new generator is the stabilizer. Hmm. Maybe it's not stable. Should be able to, yeah. Control can be established. We will literally have the power of a god at our disposal. And it will all Everybody in Capcom games has got a really bad god complex. The power of a god. Who can I refuse to? Dun 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 dun. Oh god, there we go. Dun. So it was. Bum, bim, bim. Ah, so. It could go three, two, seven, eight, nine, one. Okay. Ah, uh, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Okay, I've got it. No, maybe I don't. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah. 
core parts and core parts too. I don't think there's anything in these. No. Okay. And now back into here. No, that's not on anyway. Ha! Screw you, dinosaurs. Stabilizer experiment room. Okay, now if I remember correctly, we've got this here, which is 1281. There we go. Shotgun parts, I think? Yes. Oh yeah, even bigger shotgun. I'm sure I am missing a handgun part though. Hmm. Right. Cut up since you don't have the right number of p uh, balls. Um. Ah. There we go. And there we go. Okay, we should be able to use it now. What? Oh, got initializer. Ah, we're still not. We've got only parts of each. So we need to head to another room over here. Which means we have to go past the super dinos. Yay! Come on, quickly! There we go. I just about got through there. Planning disc. Oh. I haven't been given a code. If you find the models of two parts in the case container you have not seen them, be sure to check what they look like. If you split the numbers that you use when obtaining the core parts and add zero to each of the split numbers, it will give you the pass numbers you need when obtaining the other two protective parts. Be careful when ha- ah, okay. Okay, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> oh, what? Oh, ball stains. Okay. Um, phone generator for you'll find the models of the two parts in the case. If you split the numbers that you use when obtaining the core parts and add zero to each of the split numbers. They will give you pass numbers you need when obtaining the other two protective parts. Um. Of protective parts 
1A, 1B. Um, Right, I'm actually going to end this part here and I'm going to go look this up because I don't have the patience to do, you know, the actual puzzle. So I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you all for watching.